Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Nightmare Tower! This is a game made by Juicy Beast, and is a vertical launcher game. A bit like Hedgehog Launch. I believe that's the most famous of the type. Though it's more similar to a previous game, Burrito Bison. Another good game. I recommend playing it. Ah, so the basic plot of this game is that the king has ten daughters, all of them have been kidnapped by something. The evil guy, let's call him. And he, he is in a tower. That's all you really need to know. We start the game off in a rocket. Funnily enough, we could have called this game Rocket Knight, which is also a good game. Ah, as you can see, when we start, we're given the chance to launch ourselves, and let me just move this mouse off screen. Now, like a lot of these games, timing is key for your launch. But unlike some games, you're actually given control in midair, and you have the chance of getting faster and faster as it progresses without having to do anything like a fuel meter or anything like that. It's equal parts the launch and the journey. Also, it's kind of like a role-playing game. Alright, so the basic concept is that you're going to want to slash through these monsters with your currently rather feeble equipment and try to get as high as you can in a single launch. Here you can see, we rescued a princess! by ramming through some wooden planks with our rocket, which miraculously came up to grab us. So the idea is that you don't want to fall down. If you do, your rocket will come to save you, but you'll lose momentum and you'll fall further down the tower. You'll see why you don't want to do that in a moment. Ooh, a heart. Yes, enemies will drop items for you to make your journey easier. Another role-playing game-like element. Oh, we're about to see what happens when you fall too quickly, or too far, that is. See, there's lava that's filling up the tower, and if you, if you go too slowly, the lava will burn you to death. If you run out of lives, or you're burned by the lava, it's game over, and you have to start from the beginning of the tower. Oh boy, it seems as if we have been burned. But, it was not worthless. We got the princess. Her power-up was that we can now pick up coin bags, and hers is that bombs will now appear. Hmm. Alright, so we have 40 quests to complete. Those are actually required to complete the game. They're not just ways of getting easy money. Alright, that was good enough. Let's visit the shop and see what we can upgrade. Alright, here is our equipment. Uh, I think a sword would be the most useful, but we'll just wait a moment. Ah, no, I take that back. The speed bonus is by far the most important item. Well, I'd say that it ties with the sword, but we're going to get that to start with, just so we can get higher up the tower. Um, let's see what else we have. Luck, which will drop more gold, very useful. Um, extraction power, it allows you to accelerate faster, you get more bang for your buck, as it were. Um, oil, not very useful, I don't even know why you'd get it. And potions, we can't get that right now. Let's ignore that. Also, when you launch, it presents you with a relevant internet meme relevant to my interests, one might say. Yes, these yellow guys seem to pose no threat to us, and in fact, we could actually just let ourselves fall onto one of them, and we'll automatically slash them. The knight attacks for you, you only need to do the, like, downward thrusts. Up thrust, down thrusts, or a regular link on an adventure. They're not quite a link to the past. Huh, what's that? two or three Nintendo games referenced already? I'm averaging about one per minute. Oh, wait, no. Uh, quickly. I must think of something else to say. Like, ooh, money bags. Okay, that's more like Sony, or whatever company owns Spyro. Ah, Spyro. No, focus. You have to focus on the task at hand. That is the point of this game. Focusing. And more importantly, slicing up enemies. Yes. These guys want to kill us, and they're succeeding. We must cut them to pieces before they shoot out mucus from their, uh, bagpipe thing. Something like that. Oh, we're so close, but the lava seems to want to get us. If we just speed up, we can avoid it, but it doesn't look like that will be happening. Uh, a tragic end to such a magnificent journey. We got some gold out of it. Hmm, let's see... Yes, that, that did nicely. Let's 
Let's upgrade our sword next. That's very important. It'll make it possible to slash through some of the more durable enemies. So close! Uh, I don't know why, but on my first playthrough of the game, I got perfect launches every single time, but now that I know that I need to start getting them, I just can't. Was my mouse on screen all that time? Well, of course it had to have been. I was at the shop, and thus had to move my mouse on screen. Silly me. I'm paranoid of leaving a mouse on screen. Many a great Let's Play have been ruined by having a mouse on screen, and also mine. It doesn't seem like the... We didn't buy the sword, did we? Ah, we bought armor. I just now realized that. Yes, armor will give us an extra life. Which we just made use of right there. Four lives. And unlike certain games, which we may or may not have already referenced, we are not at a disadvantage for picking up more lives because we lack any form of laser sword. These blue guys are a lot tougher. That's because they are blue. Abba Deepa would die. <laughs> that music video. Ah, late 90s 3D animation. Seems like everything's trying to kill us now, except for those flying guys. They're just useless. Ah, a rocket saves us. Uh, the third princess. Now we can reap the rewards of having three princesses in our uh, disposal. Perhaps I could have worded that better. But she'll provide us further assistance in the quest to destroy the evil guy. Or something like that. Yes, in fact, she will give us the most useful of all. I think. The potion. Potions now drop, and they currently have the effect of boosting our speed. Now, these effects stack. You don't need to just get this one and suddenly it drops both leech and haste. No, no, no. You can get leech and haste in the same potion, and it tastes delicious. Now we've got a better sword. And... Okay, no. Not quite. Oh, it seems as if we have an achievement to get. Get to, I'd say, I think it's, what? A thousand meters in 40 seconds. That's ridiculous. We're not going to get that as is. We need to upgrade our boost meter if we're going to get anything near that. Though haste would help. Well, well I think that just affects our lateral speed. Nothing to do with height. And you know those are unrelated, right? Physics class, anyone? Well, okay, in a vacuum they are, but... Then again, this game does have air friction. Ten seconds left. We're not making this. I'm not even kidding myself. Well, okay, we're close, but... We're gonna need quite a bit more power in our thrust. Gross. I like those flying guys. They're no threat to us. They remind me that I have dominance over them, and I can slice them to bits. Ah, just like that. Fifteen items. Something you don't even need to try to do in this game. They just hand them out. And in fact, there will be a later power-up which gives you more items. We might be seeing that soon. I think it's the result of rescuing four princesses? The reward, I believe it's called? Uh, I'm probably the worst English speaker in the world. Who comes from America and was born to English-speaking parents. And is a wasp. And lives in New England. I really have no excuse for my lack of proper diction. Oh, yellow guys. Hello, dragons. You aren't causing slowdown. So many sprites. So much lava. Burning, burning, burning. We died. So sad. Oh, well. Let's take a look at what we've got on us. Uh, it's ten minutes in. Might say we have time for at least one more launch. Hmm. Better rocket. That will definitely help. Ah, a perfect launch. How coincidentally amazing. Yes, we're already about a quarter of the way up, and wow. Yeah, we're doing, doing it right, guys. Doing it right. The game can use memes, so so can I. Uh, I think I used a few too many so's in there. And uses. 
Ah, uh, when we're given the ability to not fall down the tower as a potion effect, that will be the day. Die, 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 you silly creatures. We are on a rampage. We got problems with our feet and our back. We're about to have a dope rhyme attack. And we've done it! A thousand meters in 40 seconds. Not all that bad, all things considered. Especially considering that... Th there I go, using words in a single sentence. Multiple times. Ugh. What would my English teacher say? Zero out of ten, please revise. Well, at this point, it's not even revise, because this is live. Or is it dead? Are there thoughts within its head? Pro tip to Let's Players. In an awkward situation, simply speak in lyrics to a song that you like. Or alternatively, a song that you hate. Gotta get down on Friday. Which incidentally is the day that this is being recorded. We died. But on the plus side, we got several quests finished. And in the end, isn't that all that matters? Completing quests and dying in pain. Yeah, let's give ourselves a speed bonus. We're eventually going to need to get around to these slightly less useful ones, because even though they're less useful, they still are useful. I have to stress that. Free gold! Heh, <laughs> I'll be taking advantage of this between videos. Until then, I will see you all in a moment. For you. For me, it'll be like in a day or two. Good night, everyone.